Oh, derailer killers. Mi amigos, we're starting another day. We've head even further south in Spain. I think there's a little bit more south to go, but we've headed south. We're in the Sierra Nevadas now. Not the California Sierra Nevadas, the Spanish Sierra Nevadas, the originals. We're gonna be riding with Ciclo Montaña, Mark, who has been here in Spain for almost 30 years, maybe more than 30 years. Moved here with his wife, Jackie, and started a mountain bike guiding business after a couple years. So they've been doing this a long, long time, and I'm sure they're gonna have some good trails. After about a million feet of descending, these brake pads are finally ready to be changed. I'm uh, actually pretty impressed with how long they've lasted. <laughs> oh no, and these are definitely not the same brake pads that I need. These are like old XTR, XT, and I need new XT. Apparently they're different. Okay, thankfully Mark had a pair of pads. I traded him my other pads for these pads because I'm sure he'll have a client or something at some point that'll need them. So let's put these new bad boys on, see what happens. Okay, let's load them up. We're on our way up and we've got the highest peak in Spain and we've even got the village that we're staying at, Fondales. We have made it to the top and this is ridiculous. We are over 6,000 feet right now and the plan is for a 25 mile ride to there, to zero, to sea level. <laughs> it's like really nice too this this sweatshirt's coming off and we're going down and it's probably impossible to see from uh my camera here but there's africa right on the other side morocco mark calls this super enduro i used to do an enduro race out here like seven years ago not to be confused with the other super, super enduro we did he called this the detached retina section go, 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 go. Mark said it took him three times coming out here, scouting it out, looking at Google Earth to actually be able to connect this part to the next part. This is like a Moab climb. All right, I'm coming. Oh. Just another totally different terrain than anything I've ridden. <laughs> <laughs> Backcountry style. Wow. <laughs> so loose. Oh, nice rock in the shin. Oh. And of course, once again, we've got Andrew up ahead from McTrail Rider, my partner in Espana, showing me the goods. He rode with these guys last year and really, really liked it. So he had to come back <laughs> and bring me along. A little bit of Africa right there. <laughs> Whoa. Holes to the left of me, boulders to the right, stuck in the middle. Oh. Yeah. Oh, this will be 3,000 feet, so. <laughs> I can smell Andrew's hope breaks. Man, I hate to say it, but 
everybody I've ever known who's had Hope Brakes, they sure look nice. That's about it. killers. <laughs> I think there's a view up there, but I can't look down. I can't look up. Oh. Lightning crashes. That is a thousand percent focus. <laughs> really cool. Oh yeah. When Mark and his wife Jackie came out to Spain, they thought it would be kind of a temporary thing. You know, maybe buy a piece of property, fix it up. And then they really just completely fell in love with it. They had a house back in the London area that they had bought and fixed up. And uh, all of a sudden real estate was kind of booming. So boom, sell that thing, move to Spain. They bought a couple of old beaten up ramshackle houses and fixed those up. And just a lot of uh, doing that and then trying to put a business together. He said for, at first he did uh, jet ski rentals <laughs> and that nobody was really showing up and maybe six weeks out of the year people would come and rent jet skis and so then he was into mountain biking and started doing the mountain biking thing and he said the first year he had three or four groups which I thought was pretty good I mean this is what back in the day magazines and newsletters and how do you get the word out about a business so if you had three or four groups the first year, that's pretty good. <laughs> Wasn't ready for that. <laughs> okay, we got more. And that was like the late 80s. So he's, he's been here doing it for a long, long time. He said, I, I've been through all the kit, all the kit, you know, fully rigid bikes, different kinds of helmets and Lycra. And he's seen it all. <laughs> These are a little silly. <laughs> Get the paint job a little rubbed up here. Oh man, I would have been going way too fast for that. Whoa. <laughs> Different kind of dirt now, different kind of rocks. Oh. <laughs> oh. Reset, reset. <laughs> Those kind of switchbacks are just fun. They're interesting. Oh. <laughs> Oh. 
Dang it. Oh, one little pedal tap away from getting that clean. Ah. Wow. Love it. Bum, 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 bum. Just a perfect Saturday in Spain. All right, we had a nice little stop off there with a drink and a little tapas. So we've pretty much done all the big descending 5,500 feet we've done so far. Now we're gonna head into this riverbed down here, do a little traversing. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Don't fall in. one. Haven't oh, oh man. Ah. I was gonna say I haven't crashed in the water yet. Just getting out with the bamboo. No! Left, go left! I was in the deep zone. There we go. Finish up at the Mediterranean Sea. I haven't dipped my toes in yet. Ha! Balu, Balu! <laughs> Balu! It's your first stone. There you go then, kids. Good effort. Yeah, man. Nice one. <laughs> nice one. Nice one. That's good. Oh. Very good. <laughs> Woo! Cheers. They used to deliver them into the shower fry up here. <laughs> That was a really cool adventure ride. All kinds of fun stuff all day, battling the, <laughs> the river crossings and the super steep stuff. We're back in the village now, and oh, I've been learning some really cool stuff. And bear with me if I don't get it exactly right. I didn't have uh, a lot of cell phone data to do my fact checking here. But I learned the south of Spain, the architecture, the flat roofs, the, the style of these villages is very much influenced from the Moors. They were the Muslim Africans from what we call Morocco now that crossed the Strait of Gibraltar into southern Spain and conquered the whole Iberian Peninsula, what is modern day Portugal and Spain. And that was year 711. And they, they made their way all the way north to the Pyrenees and then within 10, 10 or 20 years or so, and they tried to get into modern day France. The Franks battled them back and backed them off, and they, they stuck around in Spain for a long, long time. So almost everybody in Spain was Christian, then they were Muslim, and then the Christians kind of started to come back, band together, and, and beat back the Muslims all the way down to the south. And it took until 1492, until the last stronghold, uh, Granada, was the, they, they finally surrendered and that was when the Spanish Inquisition started. I've always heard of that, but I never researched it. And basically it was 
you know, the Christians going around to all the people that were Jewish or Muslim and saying, hey, are you, are you Christian? Or what are you, what are you doing? And kind of uh, a, great, a grand purge, of course. I want to learn more about this now. It's so cool actually being here and seeing it all and, uh, and just feeling it and seeing it. And uh, the history is so cool. So that's it from here today. McTrail Rider will have the next video tomorrow on his channel, more adventures. We'll probably get four rides in this region and this region is super cool. Some good stuff up ahead. Thanks for watching you guys. I'll see you on the trail.